our testimony today we have uh, Henry Mutuku. We do it a bit differently today. Uh, again, it's a pleasure to have you, Henry. Thank you. So, 2003, when was the last time you, you were out there doing music before you, you went somewhere else? Um, 2004. Uh, actually, I think that when we were crossing into the new year of 2005, that's the last time I was in public. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so towards 2005, mm. then you disappeared. Yeah. And Uri appeared in 2014, mm. the month of uh, April. Huh? Yeah. Not April. This, yeah, April actually. It is. It is the month of April. April. Yeah. So it's been it's been quite a while. Mm. And many people people are asking questions. Where did she go to? I think that's the major question in the minds of many people. Uh, well, at first I stepped back I, because I needed to prepare for my second album. Okay. So I thought, let me get some space. Um, so I took off s some months. Then um, I went and um, recorded the album um, somewhere out of the country. Then I came back and did a few appearances. And I thought, then after that, it will be, I mean, I just needed to wait for the album to be, you know, final, finalized. Okay. Um, at the studio where I recorded it. Um, but that took some time. So while I was waiting on it, I thought, let me not, I can't be at the forefront, let me take a back seat. But the, break went on and on okay yeah so you're talking about the simama album no oh, it's a different album altogether yeah i went to do another album this was the first album this was the first album yeah. so this album had already been done yes it was before you went uh, to do another album yeah okay mm. so then then um, what really uh, made you pull back and take a break was it because the album was uh, being done? Or was it just because you wanted to, you know, to, to pull back and listen to God more? It was a number of reasons. Yes. And all of them seemed to conclude the same, um, bring me to the same conclusion. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be at the forefront. Um, I remember, I think in, in 2004, um, I was at what people call the height of which, um, I mean, the height of uh, success in, True. in music. Yes. Um, and I remember one time I, I, I had this issue with, um, I, I came across the issue of pride in my heart. Mm -hmm. And I knew as a minister, you're not supposed to, I mean, that, that's, of course, that's a warning bell. You're going in the wrong direction or something is up. You need to stop and think and deal with it. So I, I remember praying and telling God, please get this thing out of my heart so that I can do How did you tell you, uh, you had pride? Like an instance that you could go and go boom. Mm, then and you realize I, his mm, pride is growing mm, in me. Your point, like this and this happened, then you can boom, man. Um, it's just, I it, I, I, like I, an example, like uh, <laughs> either uli 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 to event, uka it turned down because da 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 da, ama. Um, no, it wasn't the turning down of events. Mm -hmm. What was it? Um, I don't remember actually what it was. Mm -hmm. Let me just be honest. Okay. <laughs> but I do remember I I came across that issue. I think it's how I would treat people sometimes. Mm -hmm. I would you feel better than them? You feel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you feel better than them. You think you have They your don't own. deserve you. Um, <laughs> that's a bit too harsh. No, huh? that's a bit too <laughs> harsh. Okay. Basically, um, you feel you, you're another level. Yes. Yeah, better ah, than yeah, the yeah. other people. Yeah. Uh -huh. and so you saw that was pride in a way. Yeah. Mm. And I thought, I remember praying and asking God, um, please get this out of me. And I also understood that once you're at the top, what people call the top yes. <laughs> and i mean when god raises you up and he finds pride in your heart i thought that 
I mean, it's 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 automatic that he'll have to bring you down. Mm. So I prayed I, I, a prayer. I told him, please get this thing out of me. And if you can, please don't let me. Um, don't don't usinishu shembele awatu. Let's make wow. a bargain. Let me step out. Wow. Um, before. Before, uh, before, gets, before it yeah. gets to the worst. Yeah, but it's those prayers you make and you forget. Mm -hmm. um, but I think events just came um, one after the other and they showed me it's time to get out slowly. Mm -hmm. And okay. um, it, one after the other, um, what else happened? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there are a number of reasons that brought me to that point, but the, the mm -hmm. only conclusion was to get out because if you don't get out, um, you won't be representing the gospel anymore. Wow, that, that's yeah. a very uh, <laughs> heavy point. I almost said another word that uh, will bring another mm -hmm. meaning altogether. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the music we do today, DJ Krober. Yes, Auntie. And where we are today, we are at a point where in music, you know, you have to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to get to a certain level. Mm -hmm. And uh, truth be told, eh? Uh, I don't know. Business-wise, it's a good thing. It is. It is. Uh, like, Henry is doing a new album. Eh? Yes. Henry will have to do a proper photo shoot, a proper video, a uh, proper e editing of the artwork for the album, proper circulation for the album. All those are commercial aspects. Yes, mm -hmm. they are. Unanishika. Mm. Yes. That have to be pursued. True. Mm -hmm. And so the question is, uh -huh. where where is the line? Where do we draw the line mm -hmm. between pushing yourself to a certain level, you know, and pride? Because I think it's a very thin line. It is. And you, <laughs> what do you where think? do you think the line is? I think the line is you, you mark yourself with two relationships. Your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. What is the Holy Spirit convicting you about? Yes, and mm. number two, um, the re relationships of the people around you, your mm. family, your church. Okay, um, I, I mean, when you start seeing those relationships changing, mm. um, like I said, Unaza Kukuta, you know, you, you're you treating people differently. Mm -hmm. Then you start knowing these are pointers. Yes. Yeah, these are really, it, it, it banks on relationships, those two relationships, mm -hmm. I think. Wow. Yeah. So Henry Mutuku made a prayer. There's pride I'm, I'm seeing coming and things happened one mm -hmm. after the other and you are no longer in music anymore. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, so what were you doing then? Um, and probably the other question is, did you, for that period, did you regret, uh, you know, stopping music? No, I did not regret at all, because the relationship with God matters most. I, that having, I mean, that having that peace that you're mm -hmm. still working with Him, um, having that joy that you did what was i mean this is the most important relationship you have so um you did what was right by it i think that was i didn't regret that okay yeah um how was it over the years mm. seeing you know pole pole mziki naendelea it's continuing it started changing where it is right now See, you look so far away from me. You are watching, you know. You know, na kau na ona, say you know na. We are. It's 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 on TV. It's 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 fully commercial. Okay, kau ona say you know na. Uno na aji. Well, how was it then? Um, I remember at first I got a bit. Um, there's a time I really got. Uh, stressed and depressed. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um with the fact that many people would tell me you are a pioneer in this thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's a, it's your responsibility that things have gone this way. Mm -hmm. And it really made me sad mm -hmm. and stressed and depressed and angry at times mm -hmm. at myself. Oh Lord, what have I done? Um, and then... Wow, what? 
it's a it it killed you, eh? <laughs> it did, yeah. The the pressure, but that, uh, uh -huh. new well. Um, yeah, there was that aspect. People would mm. say, you know, you started, you are one of the first people to do this. Mm. And I later thought, I mean, I asked God to give me an answer. What do I, I mean, it really troubled me for some mm. time. Mm. And then I came across this verse that I had seen a long time, I mean, for a long time, but it never mm. just spoke to my situation like it did that mm. time. That when you're doing the gospel, um, there are those who will do it for other reasons. True. Um, but we are all doing the same thing. Mm. Uh, at the end of the day, Paul said, even those ones are still, they're still spreading, sp the, spreading gospel. the gospel. Yeah. So that, that helped me quite a bit. Uh -huh. And also to learn that God is a God of unlimited patience. Mm. Some of wow. the things we see happening, he just, it's not, that he's just letting them happen. Mm -hmm. It's just that he's a he's god being of patient. He, he is so patient, mm -hmm. very patient. Wow. And I thought it's a lesson for me to, to also draw. learn, yeah, mm -hmm. to draw from that um, I need to be patient too. The Bible says that as a minister, you're supposed to be um, very patient when you're dealing with people. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, speak to them regularly, mm -hmm. uh, the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's that aspect of unlimited patience that we need to learn. Okay. Krabba, we're coming back in a short while. Mm -hmm. I want to understand a few things. We want yes. to understand who is Henry Mutuku now, after that period out of music? Does she want to do music? What kind of music does she want to do? And she will also tell us a bit more about, uh, you know, hymns, spiritual songs, and how that matters to the gospel mm. uh, fraternity. And is gospel industry uh, the right name? Mm -hmm. Is it an industry? Is it a ministry? Mm -hmm. We want to dig deep down and get to answer those questions. But we'll also take her through the journey a bit yes. of the music wave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I yes. don't remember. I mean, when I knew him, he was clean shaven. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a gig I attended of his. Eh? In, it's either two or two or two or three. Na I gonna keep on it. My friend. Maybe it's come to cruises. Danganya Anthony will ask him. Used to have you know, money. It was an in thing at some point. Eh? It was. Uh -huh. We all wanted long hair. Hala. Yeah. Kuna wakati tukuka kwa naizo malaini. Yeah, me ni kiganga makati, by the way. Aoko serious. As kudanganya. Yeah, ni kwa nakamba. Ni kasi kwa baka blow out. It's a phase. Yes. And that's how music, you know, I remember it it came by the time I was in get saved sasa nilipata kina akina Joxi mm -hmm. gospel fathers DJ Josh Porcupine yes remember those names yes eh? i do tuna mkanyaga yes uh -huh. then from there that's when akina Dadio and came in uh -huh. with akina Juliani and MOG Yes. Sasa, I was the only one. Now we started blossoming together. Mm -hmm. uh, because what did we have before the late nineties? Late nineties. Henry can tell us. I think it's Peter Odera. Yeah. Late nineties. <laughs> what, what you were there? Um, Peter Odera. The people who know inspired you, Kasema. Yes. Um. Peter Dara played a big deal. Okay. Yeah, he really did. He he would do so many evangelistic concerts to schools. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he did a lot of work then. Yeah. Then Rafton came a bit later. Yes. Um, Rafton, um, I think, did his first gospel album when I was doing my my gospel, um, this particular album. See Mama. That's how we met because we were working with the same producer mm. in the same same studio. Okay. Mm. It's been a journey. Today, uh, things are very different. Very different. Music in terms of content. The content has changed, eh? Um, if you listen to Smama, when I was preparing for the show, eh? It has more vertical songs. You know, Henry Bay's music is a queen be a buona. And those we call them vertical songs. Mm. And then there are horizontal songs, just a song to encourage 
a song like Kunai Mungu. That's a song to encourage a fellow believer. Mm. If you listen to a current album, it has more horizontal songs and more vertical. Okay. Depending on the artist. It depending on the artist because Ukipata album Kame and Jerry it has more vertical jams. Masiwa mm. Iregi. You know, there is now people, you know, God and our separating. Yeah. People get separated. You know, eh. And that, that brings us to a big question. Uh -huh. um, gospel industry and the music that we are doing today. It's, I, I think it's come to a point, DJ Kroban, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. There's this music that uh, someone who started as a gospel artist mm -hmm. will sing. Mm -hmm. There is no God in that music. It is, Honestly, pure, <laughs> it is purely horizontal. Yes. But I can assure you that song will be called a gospel song. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And I think the DJ probably understands more. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know the motive behind that. Mm -hmm. Is it that uh, that music will sell more? It is more commercially viable? But it's not commercially viable. It's more, Kunakitu Moja Hendria may highlight. It is the content that comes out of, out of any person is purely dependent on how you relate with God mm -hmm. and how you relate with other men. Wow. Sendio, mm -hmm. it, 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 it overflow. It overflow. Eh, that every time it overflow. How it's is my what life? is in the heart. Eh, mm -hmm. how is, oh, every time I'll open my mouth, overflow yangu itasema, umse ya nakuanga hivi. Mm -hmm. eh, Sa Henry, ni najijazia Henry ya nakuanga hivi. Unaniket? Yes. Hata Henry venye mimi nikiongea utasema ah I think Kroba na kuanga hivi. Automatically because out of the overflow you can tell umse yako hapa from the abundance of the yes. house. So na hiyo tu ni kuongea so even when it comes to singing it's the same thing. It's the same thing. What is your what is your perception of the gospel industry and the kind of music we are doing today? Well um first of all I have a problem. I had a problem with the word industry. Yes. Um, because I think now it makes it something totally different. Because for me, the reason I, I, my background was leading worship and mm. choir, and I still think that's where the real music is at. Mm. Um, the people who've been faithful in doing that, I think they make better musicians at the mm. end of the day. Um, but then I had this concern I, how to evangelize to my to the people I was growing up with mm -hmm. and I couldn't walk up to them and talk to them I wasn't very good at that mm -hmm. plus I also come from a background where you know um, you'd be questioned I mm -hmm. mean <laughs> and also, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. so um, I thought I remember that that thing mm -hmm. Um, and then um, I came across this verse that says, what do you have in your hand? And the, what I had in my hand was music. So mm -hmm. I, I thought, I'll take this music and make it a, a tool of evangelism. Mm -hmm. So when you enter with that perspective, and then it doesn't, con it doesn't go very well with the word industry. Mm -hmm. Industry means business. It's very cutthroat, it's very cold, mm -hmm. and evangelism is about uh, really trying to connect with this person's heart and tell them that mm -hmm. Jesus loves them. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a big disconnect for me. I think, I, I don't know, what, should it be called gospel industry? No, or? really call. <laughs> uh, Henry, what you're doing is good. The, the Simama album was good, mm. good music, right? Mm. But the cutthroat part is now left to people who now manage you. Okay. <laughs> uh. Because those people are now protecting what God is doing in your life. Yeah. Unanishika. Mm. This is what this is what God will speak to you, so that your mind is not concerned on. By the way, how many CDs have we sold? Unanishika, mm. that is now on someone else's mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. So that it protects the presence and the doing of God in your life so that it can be conveyed into your music. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. That's how me will perceive actually. Oh, okay. yeah. So you ni kazi ya Steve kukulea your stress. Yeah. <laughs> 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 let me make sure Let me make sure Henry amepata hii. Let me make sure Henry ako na 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 na. Mimi nilikana kwambia uko na hiyo video. Mhm. Kanambia una. Mm. Because that, that that's not your part. Yeah. You get me I'm coming now. Yeah. Ni venye saima alimziki imefika it's 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 still growing so unapata it's spilling over. Unapata pia wewe ndio una follow up. Unapata pia wewe ndio una. Oh okay, yeah. okay. I I just as we get to wind up mm -hmm. um we we need to understand one thing. Um you're coming back to music. Mm today and uh, you have time and again talked about uh, hymns and spiritual songs yeah and what that means to the church and uh, probably you can share that with us as a church today and for God, for the gospel fraternity let me just say um, over the years I've really come to appreciate pastors worship leaders and you know choirs and choir directors and and I've come to really appreciate hymns the Bible says that we are to speak to one another mm. in psalms, hymns, hymns and spiritual, spiritual songs. Mm. And I grew up, I, I mean, where we go to church, we, they, there's, you're given, there's that diet of hymns. Mm. And I thought it was common knowledge for everybody, <laughs> you think. <laughs> Weird enough, it's not. Eh? <laughs> yeah, so um, it was a rude shock to wake up to the fact that there, there's a big portion of people who are called believers that do not know hymns. Mm. Um, but I think that if you know, if you know and appreciate your psalms, if you know and appreciate your hymns, then like you were talking about an overflow, the mm. overflow will be spiritual songs. Mm. So um, I really appreciate um, hymns. I, I appreciate, um, you know, the people who've because I think like when you commune with hymns, for mm. example, um, you will commune with uh, the thinking of a Christian who was there, you know, in the 1600s, mm. in the 1700s. You will connect with another church age, mm -hmm. which is, a, it's just fellowship that is readily available when, mm. you, when you do hymns. So I appreciate that and I think if we understand that CCC or Christo or Kwanzaa, mm. <laughs> there were others Mali before were, us. Yes. Um, that helps our spiritual work. It, it, mm. And it shows in our output, whatever mm. we are bringing out. Yeah. Amen. I have a, a, I have a closing one, Anton. Yes. Mm. Okay, Uliza, because mine no, is no, just before Manu, the song. Just go ahead. Mine is when we, the new sound that you are taking eh, is not like the old one. It is. It isn't. Eh? <laughs> uh, uh, the, the old, uh, you know, this this one is a nice R&B, rockish, soft music. Oh, I don't know whether it's soft. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're judging it too early. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a zook in the album? Um. No, I was. When I was doing this album, mm -hmm. I was thinking of doing missions. I mean, using music in missions in Europe. Oh. So I was trying to um, try to understand, trying to be honest where you're coming from and where you're going. That's where I was going. So I, I, I was... Now I understand. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a transition album. Eh? Yeah, it, it is. is. Okay. Yes. So I have a question here. I've just asked guys to say one thing, one word for Henry Mutuku. Mm -hmm. Charles says, uh, uh, really, I really get blessed by your songs to date. I uh, remember you saying Huta Guzo Mpaka or <laughs> Manzi wa Maana. Manzi wa Maana. Yeah. Yes, there's, there's a line you, you dropped right there. Mm. Manzi wa Maana ni Manzi anajiweka. Yeah. And she will, you'll just do a few lines for us mm. for that song as we wind up. Susan Netenyi, uh, thank you very much. Uh, then um, Kiki Mbugwa says, even a caterpillar after being bored by life, it stops at a certain place and it's reborn into a butterfly so you're reborn again go spread the good news and god will bless you 
Thank you very much. Azula Swagi says to Likumis. Uh, then Mariam says, Blessed woman of God. Michael Gashia says, Welcome. Kiongo says, Msalimia sana. Kiambutu na miss. Ambrose Asuza says, I really miss her songs uh, from Zoya Sugar. I see this great musician and she must just bounce back. Mm -hmm. You have no option. Mm -hmm. yes. Asema, you have to bounce <laughs> back. Rafton, Rafton has done music up to now. Ambassador actually has almost a similar story. He has went under, but now he's back again doing music. Okay. And probably they need to share quite a bit. Eh? Yeah. As time goes by, <laughs> you know they have a longer working relationship. Yes. It's easier to work with people you've known with for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Would you do a collab with a guy like uh, Giuliani? <laughs> If he approached you, if he approached you, or DK when you beat, or um, Willie Paul, <laughs> or Bahati, well, yes. First of all, I'm very worried about <laughs> collaborations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Generally speaking, mm -hmm. um, but I've come to, and then I think in my own thinking, in my own planning, I did. Uh, there's a time I, I worked as a background vocalist for a rapper. Mm -hmm. And I thought my phase with rap is over. <laughs> um, but I d you never know how, mm -hmm. how um, you know, how God will work things out. Sometimes sure. you think it's never again. Mm -hmm. For me, that's what I think. I think I don't want to take the root Not of true. rap and mm -hmm. uh, raga. Um, I, I don't want to go back there. I want mm -hmm. to, I, I hope to progress to a point one day where I can write music for the church, you mm -hmm. know, for congregational singing mm -hmm. one day. Okay. So that's my planning, but you never know. <laughs> yeah. It's different with God. Yeah. Our thoughts are different from his thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, Manzi Oman, I think you can, um, just a few lines, a chorus of that particular song. It was, it was a song that was loved. Yes. Really loved. You can take us through that. Um, Hekima mdomo ni wake na uzuri wake wasamba za kote. Heshima kwa keni msingi aki ipeana apewa kwa wingi. Kusu 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 ye hana wibu na ubivu hapana Miena ndo yake imara jama yake ni kwanza I'm sure I'm forgetting some of the words <laughs> Kusu 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 ye hana wibu na ubivu hapana Miena ndo yake imara Manzi wa maana ni manzi wa nguvu Manzi ambaya mogu paye mungu Siku zake zote Ni manzi wa nguvu Manzi ambaya mogu paye mungu Siku zake zote Wow, yeah. well done. Uh, it's still a timeless song mm -hmm. and it will be for a very long time. Thank you very much, Henry Mutuku. Thank you. God bless you. We wish you well. Asante. And God's blessing in this journey. Welcome back. I'm sure many gospel artists and those in the gospel fraternity have told you that. Na tunakutakia kila laheri. Asante. As you bounce back. Thank you into very music. much. Na mwambiaji, Krova? Ati? <laughs> Henry, you are in for the ride of your life. So, so. Yeah? Yes. But God will sustain you mm -hmm. and take you to an awesome level. Thank Amen. you. Yes. Thank Amen. You. Yes.